here at the Calgary Food Bank. Kat's been kind enough to join us again to actually walk us through the process. Someone walks through the front doors, I've noticed some buggies, and then they join a queue. Explain the process. Sure. By the time people get here, they have already called us. Let us know uh, they need food. If we've got them um, on our, in our database, then we already know their family size and um, dietary requirements, that kind of stuff. We reconfirm all that information, add babies if babies have been added, delete people if someone's passed away. So when they get here, they line up and they're showing their ID. Two pieces of okay. ID for an adult, one piece for every child in the household. There's some forgiveness around that. Sure. If you show up and you don't have it the first time, we're gonna give you food anyways. I also notice here over to our left, there's this baby area. What's you that bet. all about? So once someone has signed in, they get a couple pieces of paper. If they've identified that they have a baby under three, they will get diapers, they'll get baby formula, baby food, and then whatever else we have. I mean, there's that free help yourself section, that. which is pretty random stuff, but it's really nice to be able to hand that stuff out. So once somebody's been identified, I'm guessing, will they have a bin of their own? Like with the food that they want or the need rather? So the hampers are built the day before for the clients okay. uh, and they are based on family size. The only dietary requirement right now that we are catering to is gluten free. And that for us is new and that's a really big step. So if someone has celiac disease and they self identify, then we'll prepare a celiac hamper for them. Otherwise, it's a, a hamper based on family size. So then from that point, there's a few folks here lined up right now to the J and K pantry yep. so that they will actually wait till be called, they will move forward and then they will be given their hamper. Yeah, so there's the pre-packed uh, non-perishables that are in the crate waiting for them. Those crates will move down the little conveyor belt and a volunteer travels with that crate. Mm. So, uh, and they're asking as they go along, they're asking, which which, not, which perishables, sorry, I'm losing my right, words, right. which perishables that, that the client would like added. So uh, we always have milk, there's always meat, fruits, vegetables, and then bakery items. It's okay to be someone in need. Absolutely. We all, we talk about this place like it's a bank. Sometimes you make a deposit and sometimes you make a withdrawal. Sometimes you volunteer and sometimes you're a part of this as well. It's a real cycle. I have found there are a number of clients who have come back as donors or volunteers, like dozens and dozens. More from the Calgary Food Bank coming up here on Shaw TV. Hang on.